All right, guys, so the, we're in this thing now, uh, probably about five hours total. This is the beginning of day number three, and the turbo is here. So we had a turbo fail. The actual, it's crazy, man. When this thing failed, it said choo -choo -choo -choo, and locked up completely. Um, the, the turbine wheel, I just broke it free right now, but it would not spin at all. And then when you get down here on the compressor side, and you spin it, listen. I can, the, the wheel is broken. I can make this thing, it is broke. So turbo failure is one of the things that apparently they had a recall on. We missed the mileage and it looks like it's a pain in the butt. No, let, let me re, rephrase that. It is a pain in the butt to change. Uh, so basically what we've had to do so far is the CV axle up here on this side is out. We had to get that out so we could easily access everything. We got all the top bolts loose now. So the top bolts are loose. There's four, I think there's five up here on the top, four on the bottom. Uh, the problem is, is the K-member is right there. It's down at the bottom. So it's really hard to access. Uh, this is like the DPF, I think, or something. And so I've got this thing loose and the exhaust system is off of it mostly. But this thing is still hanging by these uh, lines up here so we've got to get all those off it looks like um there are some people that say you don't have to take this off you can actually get to everything without pulling it off all the way but not seeing it uh, at the moment so let me show you from underneath what we got 100 percent on this thing you've got to have a lift i guess you could do it without a lift but got the uh most of the exhaust system stuff off i think that's dpf also i think that's the urea where uh, the death fluid where it injects to clean that filter so i don't know if this is the filter or not but basically turbo is up there and so you can see the downpipe you can see this is attached so we've just got to figure out on how to to get this thing off now you know i wonder what that white writing is right there uh turbo will be here tomorrow see the the k member is in the way but you know, without the, the CV axle in there, at least you can kind of get up here to it. Now, if this filter wasn't here, that's the EGR valve. If the EGR valve was not right there, then it would be easier to get to. I may end up having to take the, the EGR, the actual, that whole valve off. I don't even know how that thing bolts on there. But so I guess first thing, I've got to get this piece out and then we can look and see if we can get to the bolts up there. There's a heat shield up there on the top uh, that's got to come off. You can see it more back here. We've got some of the bolts out. Like the, you can see some of the top bolts. Right, that's right there. Luckily so far the bolts have not had an issue coming out, but there's still a lot of stuff in the way. This is, man, what a pain in the butt is, is what it is. I still, I don't see I'm going to have to take those cooling lines off too, it looks like. It looks like those lines are going to have to come off. It looks like, yeah, we're going to have to, we're going to have to take basically all this stuff off from down here uh, in order to get it, to get it out, I think. I think. What a pain in the butt. Well, guys, that might seem like a short period of time, but from, I've been over here for about two hours. Finally got this thing out. Key thing. It would go much easier if that EGT sensor was out. It got stuck, so we're going to have to fight with it now. You got to get all the hoses off, of course. Those can stay on. But now that that is out of the way, you can see where everything is for the most part. I can still, uh, we might be able to do it without taking the EGR off, uh, EGR cooler. I don't know, it might be better to just go ahead and take all that off and get all the hoses out. These Volkswagen, clamps are not the best either they're very small very difficult to get off so okay let's keep going hopefully we can get the turbo off of it tonight i don't know that this thing's gonna go back together very effectively honestly oh the other thing to note we did have to drop the k member to the space it dropped down about an inch and that gave us enough room well brian i was getting kind of frustrated he was able to wiggle it on out of there so definitely had to loosen the k member up dropped it down that helped finally 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 you can see everything we got all those bolts loose i did have to take the egr valve down 
or whatever that thing is, but it's only got four little bolts. And luckily all my header bolts, uh, none of them were seized. It does look like this thing's got a little bit of a header, uh, valve cover leak up there uh, with some oil running. So this thing, hopefully, hopefully we can pull it right out the top right now in a second. Okay, so all that's attached, Brian. So it should hopefully wiggle out there. And maybe you can get it. Is it just the right? That well, that line you can bend that line because I couldn't get it off because that is the new that is the uh, oil feed line. Oil feed. Yeah, I couldn't get it off. Getting on everything. Everything. Dude, it's it's almost out. All right, now we got to pull the whole motor out. All, it, all right, he was able to wiggle it out of there. Now the real question is: Is are we gonna be able to wiggle the new one back in? Is the the real question. So we got some stuff we got to maneuver, maneuver over to the new turbo. When it gets here, there is the, the little turbo. That thing is so tiny. Uh, and it was, let's see if I can move it now. Uh, they don't appear to be very stuck now. Don't you hear the, the oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's broke. Wait till you see it on the side. And this turbo is all one piece, of course. So the turbo is mounted to the actual. Uh... Oh, there's the problem, Brian. Found a problem. No, the the nut come loose. Oh, is it stuck in That's it? the nut we just oh, found. Oh, there's your nut. That's my nut. We just had a nut come out. Put it back on there with some Loctite and let's ride it again. Look, look at this. No, it's kind of beat up now. See if the compressor wheel is moving back there as I shake this. Uh, that's a negative boost right here. Okay, so it is broke. <laughs> yeah. So it broke the shaft. Oh, that's what happened. It locked up and then it, it broke the shaft. Locked up. Locked up and, locked up and then off. turned itself off. That's well, a good thing that didn't go into the intercooler or into the motor. Because nope. that is, the nut is in my pocket. And the turbo is trash. Okay. All right, guys. So if... You have a Volkswagen Passat or Trade a Jetta. It. <laughs> Trade, Trade it. Trade it in on a Honda. <laughs> That's what we're actually probably going to do. We're going to fix this one. I mean, I've literally, this is day number three. I've got probably, what, six, seven hours in getting the turbo off. I mean, it's ridiculous, guys. And he's been trying to calm me into working on it for three days. And it's not worked until right now. He, 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 which I was about to go to sleep. I'm he done. was going to pop like a grape. So I appreciate the help. We got this thing out and yeah, yay, yay. So I need to be wearing a race car because I'm trying to race this weekend, but I can't. The race car's ready to go. Well, mostly, except for the vacuum pump and the wheelie control. I'm, I'm probably do without either one of those this weekend. If we, So as long as we can get this thing. So I got Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. There ain't no way I'm going racing this ain't weekend. No chance. No, there ain't no chance. If turbo comes in tomorrow. It's going to take you three days to put it back. In yep. There. So probably not going to be racing this weekend. So it is what it is, guys. It's Christmas almost anyway. Got to get the the daily driver stuff fixed, uh, so we can trade this in and get us a Honda Accord. Yay! All right, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. If you got a Volkswagen Passat, <laughs> if the turbo goes out, and these were on recall, uh, Volkswagen. Apparently, this was a common problem. And they warrantied them for 10 years and 120,000 miles. So we made it to 170. Later, guys.